Need help setting up the gradebook for your courses in ECHO? Let's get started. From your home page, click the Course Editor icon located on the course that needs the gradebook set up. While in the Editor tool, click the Tools icon located in the top toolbar. From the drop-down menu, click on Course Settings. That link takes you to a page where all gradebook settings can be set and adjusted. From here, there are five gradebook settings that can be set up. You have gradebook options, multi-scoring outcomes, grading categories, objective mastery, and grade scales. Let's start by taking a look at the gradebook options. From here, you can decide what percent is a passing score, I'm going to be tough on my students. You can also choose the grade scale you would like to use and the course grade view. Percent is automatically selected, but if you'd like, you can pair it with a letter grade, points, or minutes spent. I'm going to select this grade scale, and I want on my course grade view a letter grade to be paired with a percent. Next, let's take a look at the multi-outcome scoring. Here you can adjust the weight of the outcome. Make it 20%. You can assign a percentage of the, the course grade that you can assign a percentage of the course grade that this outcome will cover. You can change the color of this outcome. You might have to find a hex code for that color if you'd like to change it. And you can also delete this outcome if you do not want to use it in your course. You can also add an outcome if you have a personalized one you would like to use. Next is grading categories. Most NTN Echo users do not use this feature of the gradebook, but sometimes they will delete the exclude and just use the include option. These options allow you to set up activities that are included in the final gradebook. Next is objective mastery. Here you can set the objective mastery threshold, the grading scale you would like to use, formative assessment, settings, and remediation assessment settings. Within formative assessment, you can choose the minimum number of questions in an assessment and the minimum score that can be received. So the minimum score, I'm going to put a zero, minimum questions, three, remediation assessment, three, minimum score, zero. The last item when setting up your gradebook is the grading scales. Here you can select grade scales that are to be used in this course. You can also delete grade scales you do not want to use or add a custom grade scale. If you're an elementary person, you might want to set up a one through four grade scale. Since some, I know there are a lot of elementaries that use the one through four grading scale, you can do that here. You can set it up by points. You can say a you can say meets mastery is a four. Or that would be exceeds mastery maybe would be a four. Anyway, you can continue to add as many brackets as you want. One, two, three, four to set up your one through four grading scale. When you're done, you'll hit done. If you don't want these grade scales because you know you're not going to use them, you can delete them. And then you have gone through all of the settings for your gradebook. When you're done, go ahead and click Save. You can adjust your gradebook options as you like.